Hi, welcome to the Online Jewelry Academy. I'm John R. and I'm your instructor. Today I'm going to teach you about thermoforming plastic. I know that sounds like a big mouthful of words, but it's actually a lot of fun. It's the way that you take a flat piece of acrylic plexiglass like this and turn it into a wearable. Now, you don't have to bend and form your plastic. You could turn it into something really beautiful that remains flat. But before you work with your plastic, you're going to want to experiment. You're going to want to drill into it, grind it, polish it, file it, everything that you could possibly do to see what the effects are. Now, a piece like this has a really interesting sort of fluorescent edge effect to it. So you want to see how to play with it so that you can get some interesting results like I did with this pair of earrings. Now, here's some of the tools that you may need for this project. Now, the edges have to be completely smooth, otherwise it's going to be uncomfortable to wear. A quick way to put a nice edge to your material is to use a scraper. You can get this from any plexiglass supplier. Now, of course, you can get plexiglass in these acrylic rods, which I used in a previous video where I made a pair of statement earrings and a statement necklace with color and 3D dimension. You can get the plexiglass in transparents and opaques in almost any color and with some interesting varieties in them as well. There's also texture available too. Now, this material can be cut, shaped, and polished, but you're going to need a special polish for this. It's a special plastic polish. You want to keep this polish separate from your other polishes and put it in a container that's closed. You don't want to contaminate it. Same thing with the muslin buff that you use with the polish. You want to keep it very, very clean. You don't want any funny grit getting onto it and causing a scratch on your plastic surface. Now to prep the plastic for polishing, it needs to be sanded to a very fine finish. You need a 1500 grit. That's a very, very fine sandpaper. It's kind of difficult to find sometimes. Your local hardware store might not have something quite that fine. But if you go to the automotive store, you'll probably find it there. Now, to form the plastic, to do the thermo forming, you're going to need something that gets hot. I use a heat gun. Now, this is a special heat gun because it has a base that allows it to stand upright. If you use a regular handheld heat gun, you've got one hand occupied holding the heat gun while you're trying to handle the plastic and it'll work but it's a little more difficult. I suggest getting one with a base. Now with any project safety first. You're going to be working around hot things so put on your safety glasses for sure. And the other thing that you need to buy is a pair of leather gloves. Now when you buy leather gloves be sure to try them on. You want a pair that's sort of loose fit and you want to be able to fling them off your hands easily if they get too hot. And the gloves will shrink with heat over a period of time, so count on buying another pair of gloves at some point in the future. Okay, let me clear this away and I'll show you how to bend the plastic. Okay, I've cleared the bench leaving only the items that are essential for turning this into a cuff bracelet. Now when I turn on the heat gun, it's going to make a lot of noise, so I'm not going to be able to talk over that noise. So let me tell you ahead of time what to look for. I'm going to take the piece of plastic and I'm going to anneal it over the heat source like this. And what you're going to see is the plastic's going to get kind of limp and, and wimpy looking. Once it reaches that annealed state, what I can do is I'll pick up this piece of dowel that I cut and I will hold the plastic over the dowel in order to form one half of the curve of the cuff bracelet. Then I'll go back, I'll reheat the other side of the bracelet and form the other curvature. Now, if I make a mistake or if I need to finesse the form a little bit, all I have to do is put the bracelet back into the heat. This will either relax it and cause it to open back up or it will give me enough softness in the material that I can easily just form it with my hands. All of this is done, of course, while wearing the gloves. All right, let me get on my gloves, turn on the heat gun, and we'll get started.
The acrylic material will gas out while you heat it, so be sure to work with ventilation. You can see that it's getting a little floppy on this end. Now I'm going to place it over the form. The dowel doesn't give me the complete form, so I'm going to just hold it over the first curve, or one end of the bracelet. You can see that the first curve is beginning to relax as I'm heating to make the second curve. Just hold it with your gloved hand and keep it in place until you get the form that you want. I'm going to quickly turn off the heat gun while I try to hold this in the proper place. Okay, I'm done heating the piece. Now what I'm doing is I'm just holding it in the form that I want it to take until it's cooled off. Now you don't want to quench this in cold water. You might actually crack the plastic or you might cause it to torque. So just hold it. It should be easy to hang on to with your gloves because your gloves are basically deflecting all the heat from your hands. And once you begin to feel it stiffen up in your hands a little bit, you'll know that you're ready to take it away from the mandrel. So there we go. It's a nice cuff bracelet ready to wear. It's a little bit warm still, so let it cool off before you let somebody try it on. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have fun forming plastic. And check out our other videos and products on the onlinejewelryacademy.com. Thanks for watching.